Hello and welcome back to another episode of Battletech. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Swan Song campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the literal highest difficulty. Everything enabled, everything cranked up to the max and it's time for extracurricular activities part two. Last time we left off when we destroyed the city, now we're helping the victims of uh, said city to escape uh, we'll get a bit of salvage out of it nothing particularly interesting but yeah i think it's going to be good enough uh deploying our thunderbolt and orion the big heavy mechs and some medium mechs at the same time so let's jump right into it three and a half schools desert it's going to suck desert is our worst biome by quite a bit all right, um, uh, let's uh, directly deploy four soldiers, Steigen, Bradford, and uh, Reaper plus Mox. I would say Bradford is a clear leader here. We just got to secure that rally, uh, rally point. I'm there. Oh, boy. Uh, Zeus? Ooh, Zeus is an assault mech if we could. On my way. Get two parts of that guy. Confirmed. That would be fantastic. What an interesting combination of Zeus and a locust. Okay. Ready to rock. Well, here's the deal, right? You won't get a second chance to to deal with the uh, with a Zeus. It's not a perfect kind of assault mech, but certainly better than the medium mechs that we do have. Not sure though if this is going to be successful. Alright, PPC is already down. Guy is not yet down. So let's hit his leg and Take see if if we can down him. Hits everywhere but the leg. <laughs> That's the disadvantage Commander? of not yet really having skilled up uh, the the targeted shot, right? Affirmative. This guy quite literally got hit everywhere but in uh, his leg. There's still hope. We could try to get him down. Once both of the legs are gone, we should be good to go. Let's reserve one and... Is this here going to work? No. No. That's already the best chance. Legs look pretty sturdy. The center torso does not. A and B. Let's go. Yeah, there was... Without being able to hit this guy, there was really not that much we can do. Putting my weight into it. But yeah, those were just kind of the, the warm-up crew. The Zeus had zero armor loaded, so not really a fair comparison. Moving up as close to the target zone as possible. And I would guess just from from looking at it this year the ramp here will be our exit zone Commander. move order received move order confirmed heading out all 
Oh boy, we're fighting against the pirates. See, that's what I don't like. That is what I absolutely do, uh, do not like, because Receiving now we're you. potentially going to lose reputation with them. Aye, aye. Oh, it is messed up. You got it. Roger that. All right, sprinting, and there's potentially another big battle down here. The zoo so far was just a teaser. Maybe we're getting another um, assault mech. Waiting for orders. All right, would be fantastic if we could find ourselves like in the woods here. Our extraction zone will potentially be up there. Standing I've by. played similar maps in the past. I got you. On my way. Spreading out. On the move. Position confirmed. And I think as soon as they will enter the escort zone, I would not be surprised to see a couple of enemy mechs dropping in. Good. The tension is rising. Yes, we already know that uh, the enemies will potentially approach us once we're getting into the target zone. Sprinting to that uh, bit of woods, because I think we can fight them from here. The good news is we're... The good news is we're potentially safe, as long as these guys are also here. <clears throat> They should po uh, possibly focus their fire on them. And since we have no monetary uh, incentive, even if some of them get killed, we'll not uh, get any um, yeah, monetary benefit whatsoever. Typically, if all four survive, you get like a 20% bonus, but 20% of zero is still zero, so... Yeah, you... We're seeing that the dropship will land here. Yeah, I don't want to sprint too far ahead. Matter of fact, let's go a tiny bit I back. The and we're just waiting there. Okay. The reason why I went back is if enemies spawn up here, I want them to, like, move into us so that they stand in the open. They already got the high ground, right? Copy that, Commander. Move order. Good. Still standing here. Fantastic. We finished our objective, but I know, or I very much suspect that we're going to run into another lance. Get to the chopper. Well, the chopper is over here. Roger that, Commander. I get All right, sprinting on over. Moving out. I'm There's the enemy contact I was talking about. What? Uh, the blips. <clears throat> okay, fair enough. Roger that. Moving, moving, on my way, and into the forest. Good. We're fighting against one medium, two heavy mechs, three heavy mechs. <laughs> this is Copy going that. to become interesting. What do we got? Quick draw. However, it seems like they have an. They do have a ECM field around them. That sort of tells me 
since they don't have a raven they might have a cyclops with an ecm can we loot that hmm. not sure but we do have a sensor lock ability let's uh, i want to fight them instead of not approaching them the only one that we can really hit is that quick draw here he has 40 percent damage reduction but we can suppress the ecm yes commander mox is the obvious choice to hit him 85 percent getting kind of behind those stones is not a bad idea Standing in the forest isn't either. So no let's problem. just keep the 40% damage reduction going. And hit the quick draw. Luckily all of their armor is Skipper. very much downed. We're going to use Vigilance so that we can act faster next round. Griffin moves up. And we're hitting the quick draw. Good to go. Some solid hits. Like it. Good. We're doing another Vigilance. Thunderbolt is our number one tank for now. And we're running up. Fantastic. Head hit. Pilot is, is being hit. Right, we're sprinting back into solid cover over here. Double time, let's go. Good saving some heat. Ooh, a centurion. Okay, cool. Well, they're almost daring me to stand uh, to stay by. there. But that's not going to happen, guys. Instead, we're moving back and letting them come into the open. Let me see what they got. Waiting for my opening. Quick draw again moves up. This time, strikes back. Light damage. Holding but that also means he's no longer protected. And that's exactly what we were waiting for. Precise shot. You know what? Let's hit his try to hit his head. Confirmed. Reporting critical hit. Lots of heat build up. And our Centurion will fully retaliate, even though that costs us some more heat. Fantastic. We just incapacitated him, so we'll potentially get an, a full quick draw out of this. Or at least the chance to loot a full quick draw. Let them come. There's the Cataphract. More well, to be honest, no one really got that hurt. Confirm. Fully understanding the pilot's comment. All right, a Griffin moves up. Affirmative, Commander. Let's try to hit this guy. I think we can precision strike. I got you. Inflicted some nasty on that some orders. Order. Good. Continuing with moving over here and I'm there. More or less a full salvo. We have maxed out our heat now, so 
Next round, we need to take it a bit slower. Solid connection on that one. Ready for orders. But with all of these guys in only half armor, I feel that this time it's the easiest way to to essentially loot those mags and get them. The guy only has two ace, uh, two medium lasers left over. Awaiting orders. Takes a lot of hits. And our Orion again, same Confirm. same deal. Heat heat limit. Alright, moving back with the Griffin. Fully brace. That's an AC 10. And the Centurion just showed his ugly face. Moving to position. Might as well retaliate on it. Okay, we're standing ultra safe. Got something you want done? Thunderbolt <clears throat> still stands here. Let's use precision strike just to up the damage a bit more. And the centurion is almost down. On the move. Again, increasing our hit chances. Oh no, we're not. We are not. We're just going to take it slow. The low chances of hitting aren't really worth it. Let's save some, you know what, let's just save some heat. Racing, cooling down, all good. Good. Let them act first. <clears throat> There's the caddy frag. I'm sure we cannot loot the ECM, although it might be fully installed as a fixed unit in that guy. Uh, yo. Commander. Good. Reaper moves over. Moving out. And we're sensor locking Got a lock. the Centurion, of course. Holy shit, he just exploded. He went up like a Christmas tree. Position confirmed. Thunderbolt. A couple of less medium lasers. Had to manage our heat. Fantastic. And that's the way we do it. Ready for orders. Vigilance? No. Uh, Turin is anyways earlier. Okay, cool. Aye, aye. Brace. Fantastic. Ready to rock. Aye, yo. Confirmed. All right. Moving up here. Acknowledge, Commander. Can we hit that guy? No, we can't. All right, bracing. Let him take the first move. Luckily, we had 40% damage reduction. Now the caddy frag. I'm catching some serious shit here. Now Commander. the caddy frag is spotted out. Awaiting orders. That means our Orion moves up, and luckily. We had cooled down. So time for us to go for a leg. Copy that. That's gonna hurt. Structure is exposed. Good to go. Moving back with the Centurion. 
Just dealing some general damage here and there. Inflicted some heavy damage. Waiting for orders. And now I hope that with the small lasers, we're going to be able to actually destroy this guy. Respectively, the leg, because I want to try to <coughs> salvage him. Well, so much for that. Mission successful. Uh, not happy with the salvage. We're potentially only getting pieces of these large mechs. But we got a Zeus, which is an assault mech, theoretically. Oh boy, and we paid dearly. Minus 11 to the local pirates. Not what I was signing up for. So, two cataf uh, cataphracts. We're taking that one and finishing the 70 ton cataphrag. And although the Zeus is not the best uh, assault mech, we can still go with it. Got a Centurion on top of it. Not a bad mission. Not a bad mission. I'm a bit concerned about the reputation with the pirates. We worked really hard to be liked. And now it's going slightly downhill. Good. That neck you have, that neck is ready to fight, Commander. Oh, we got a consecutive deployment. Game is not giving us any slack, is it? Defend the base. Hmm. Well, I would say we're going in with the exact same team, guys. It's a three and a half school mission, and defend the base typically is. A uh, rather difficult uh, one because there will be waves of mechs coming in and we only have uh, so much firepower to to work against them so specifically in a biome like the desert you want to have to be, so you want to typically have a lot of lasers in order to defend the base and in biomes like the desert that just doesn't work out well good let's begin the mission Command interface initiated. Oh, and <clears throat> that base, you guys might okay, remember it, we attacked a similar done. base. So we can get out of here. That place is a blessing and a burden at the same time. So a blessing because it has quite a few of those structural towers that prevent line of sight. A burden because we're sitting ducks inside of it. We definitely got to get uh, to somewhat covered uh, areas and another problem with it is more often than not we're being attacked from multiple fronts so i would not be surprised to see if that happens again on the move Roger that. trying to move over to that piece of forest over there often enemies come from here but there are also enemies coming from there <laughs> and sometimes it's just a plane a plane up open field massacre couple of griffins are moving in okay okay aye aye well ready for order Let's start here for once, shall we? Okay. Move order this guy here. So multi shot. The guy on the street is definitely the one <clears throat> that should be our first target for oh, reducing his evasion blips. And that here could be our second target. Wow, we really have yes, a bad man. chance of hitting these guys. Ooh. 
<clears throat> at the same time, we'll go. I don't want to waste our sensor lock. Or rather the action for sensor lock. Sometimes you gotta take the 70% shots. And that one worked uh, reasonably well. That's gonna hurt. He just lost his evasive Come stakes on. for no longer being being able to st uh, stand uh, steady uh, when you get them over that if you see kind of on the kind of steady bar the lowest one the little white indicator at three blips if they cross that they're losing all of their steady and their um, their evasion blips because they are no longer steady good so that's one pilot down essentially Griffin moves over here into I got you. solidly 40% covered terrain. And we'll play it conservative with our heat. A few hits just to begin to uh, hit the guy. The sniper here. It's going to cause a few problems. What's up, Commander? No problem. Good. Our Centurion could use Vigilance just for the 40% damage reduction. He's potentially going to be the one that is going to be attacked. And yeah, there, Griffin. Right has lousy armor so not much that is happening there what are your orders skipper move it over Commander. far enough away from that guy and now it's time Copy to unload that. good so far so good target down let them act uh, next Ready for orders. Thunderbolt still has the heat left over to do a couple more shots, and 60% is okay. It's not fantastic, but it's okay. Standing by. Got those nasty evasion blips down. And this time, I should have sensor lock first. That was a small playing error there. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. They're heading your way. Good, and now we're having the exact same problem that I mentioned Wait beforehand. For <clears throat> we're running into a situation where we're where we will need to fight a war at two fronts. Consider it done. Hitting the back. Oh, nice hit on that one. Nice hit. Skipper. You got Griffin it. moves up and hopefully with the rear attack we can actually get this guy down. Center torso. Now let's see how you handle it. There we go. Good. We're fully heated on both of these guys, so there is not much going to come from either of them. Awaiting orders. Let them move first, because currently they can't see the buildings. <clears throat> they can only see the closer buildings, but yeah, that was unfortunate. They would have still attacked. And he even overheated. Unbelievable. There are additional attacks coming from here. So apparently multiple other enemies are coming. And we Got might end up losing this one Commander. here. If we're not engaging fast. On my way. Alright, Orion. Fully unloading onto the catapult. 
reporting critical hit. Orders. Thunderbolt moves up, and we gotta be careful here. Again, I don't want to overheat. Fantastic. Target eliminated. Good, we're at the heat maximum. Unfortunately, the way that the whole battlefield has shaped, our medium max are on the right hand side. Potentially not able to fight against an entire lance just on their own. What are your orders, Skipper? Vigilance, because I, I definitely don't want Great any damage. damage. Lock on me. That was the right choice. Moving over. A centurion can stay in the back. We can Out simply move and brace. That's a sixty percent damage reduction if needed. Another sensor lock, okay. Cool. Good, so we're looking at almost an entire lance. And on the other hand, three heavy mechs. Oh. Yes, Commander. Reserving action. Well, it's vehicles, luckily. Maximum speed. Oh, four. Well, we got a lance on either side. Ryan moves up. Oh hell yeah! It's on now. Okay, we. You know, <clears throat> most of these. Most of uh, the weapon platforms, we can deal with them. That should not be the biggest problem. Moving up. I'm going to spend the Vigilance over here. Hatchet Man, Melee Attack, Jaeger Mac, Jaeger Mac. All right, Hatchet Man it is. Let's continue to engage the target, yep. <clears throat> Alright, he moves away. And we're now getting sensor locked. Yes, command. Fantastic. Location that should be a great hit. Vigilance again to make sure that their retaliation will not hit. And fully unloading. Onto the Jaeger mech. Almost got him down. Fantastic. <clears throat> Sorry for my voice. Mine is messed up today. Okay, so they are sensor locking. That's not the end of the world. I think we're just going to stand by for. Uh, Yes, Commander. Maybe not. The right play is to use this here as cover. Location confirmed. And get rid of attackers. Target locked. It's go time. Fantastic. All right. One Force vehicle one down. Left. Yep, perfect. 60% uh, damage reduction. Enough to keep them at bay. Must survive four more rounds, okay. Orion moves up, 40% damage reduction, make it 60 and make sure that we're killing this guy. Okay, we don't need that much heat. This should be plenty. 
Sometimes heat management is as important as, as anything else. Heat. Next round we can still fully unload. Mech warriors, show them what you got. Hey, yo. Good. We're moving a tiny bit back. I'm rolling. Griffin still got 40% damage reduction. And the Jaeger mech is almost down. Very good. Tango is trash, Skipper. Let's see what the enemy is doing. The hatchet man. Hmm. It's actually taking a couple of shots at us, this time with 40% damage reduction, but we're fine. Try Amy next time. See what you get. Commander. Ox over here. Ah, let's wait Thanks, with Mox. We're going to pull a sneaky maneuver with your Rhine, getting all the way around here. Still using this as cover. I am I'm trying to my best to really stay out of out of focus for now and Maybe we can actually kill this guy. Reduce his um, initiative to one. Orders. Good. At some point, we got to start beating this guy. And we can save some heat this turn. Just trying to get his uh, evasion blips down. Unabolt moves up. <clears throat> we got a bit of heat problem over here. Not sure if this is going to be enough. Well, it certainly was in order to destroy all of his uh, left torso, and that's where the majority of the weapons of the Thunderbolt are located, so he's left with one laser. Yeah, good job. Fantastic, buddy. Just gotta keep them at bay for three more rounds. So far, we're doing a good job. Ready to rock. Yeah, what can I do you for? Good, we got more heat this time let's reduce his initiative and really retaliate just like we should have done earlier wonderful solid connection on that one we still have more buildings left over okay Not sure if this is going to be enough. Oh, it is. Yeah. On That'll deny them any vision. <clears throat> and the Aegar mech will need to deal with us. Commander. Aye, aye. All right. Continuing to harass the guy. Critical hit, Commander. Aye, aye. Spreading out just a tiny bit. So that we're not going to be hit by stray shots. And now it's looking fantastic. Wasn't even sure that we would defeat both of the Lancers. Right here. Out. Reducing his initiative. Hey, yo. Well, it doesn't Head look knowledge. good for the Jaeger, that's for sure. Give us some vig uh, vigilance. And let's I'll just hit him. 
right, half of the mech is gone. And 60% damage reduction. We're not uh, taking a lot of damage at all. Sprinting back in order to regain heat. Like I said, sometimes heat management is just as important, if not more important, than anything else. Mission successful. And that was it. Ooh. What a nasty defense. When they were dropping the two lances, I was even... A slightly bit um, worried whether or not we would uh, be able to make it but it turned out that they were not very well armored and with a good defensive position and just some solid play we managed to overcome them so another thunderbolt uh, definitely would be a good investment we have no particular weapon that looks too uh, that looks too exciting Jaeger mech could be a thing. That catapult is still the laser catapult. Hmm. The griffins are really nice, both uh, both of them. So for medium mechs, they are fantastic. But since I wanted to show you some heavier mechs, let's just get a. Uh, we're getting that catapult. Let's get the Jaeger mech. And I think, if my memory serves me well, that should also be the final mission of that flashpoint. Okay, so we got a couple of um, mechs. But let's first of all finish extracurricular activities. Nothing to decide. And come on, we want the rare items. Black Knight. That isn't bad at all. <clears throat> it's a fantastic heavy mech. Wonderful. LRM tents. Oh, plus, plus, plus. An arm mod. We got the Zeus. Haha. Uh -huh. Fantastic. That's the one that uh, we that we missed. We finished a griffin. Yeah, and they put some urban mech troll loot in there. Not bad overall. The LRM tents could be helpful. That mech you wanted is back online. Let's take a look at our mech bay because we got some work to do, guys. We got some work to do. So having all of those mechs in here, nah, that's potentially pushing it a bit. So that griffin, back to the storage. We already got two griffins, that's fine. Hunchback is still our backup, but maybe, just maybe, it's time to say goodbye to it. And instead use a heavier version like the advantage here is we still got a medium kind of um, a medium lance of mechs that we could deploy, so I potentially will keep him. But there is also a Centurion to yeah, not really replace anyone. We got a Centurion, so Centurion back to the storage. Good. Next up, let's repair our Thunderbolt. Uh, cost us one day but it's good to do that and we got a cataphrag and we got another thunderbolt so maybe we're just running a full on heavy mech team going forward let's look at the thunderbolt first this one here has just wait a second this one here had an exchanger heat bank Oh, okay, that was our laser bank and we used our only exchanger that we had plus the comm system. Good. 
maybe, just maybe, this guy here can become our new LRM uh, boat. Let's see if we can build something around uh, that. Some of the mechs lend themselves well to multiple roles. He's originally a heavy skirmisher, but wait a second. Before we go with that, you always got to plan your entire lance. You don't want to end up... Okay, the Cataphract has no ability to use any form of missile, so no missile hard points here. Which really means uh, that we're potentially going to go with that guy here. And let's first of all maximize the armor. And in terms of just raw damage, an LRM 20 and an LRM 15 plus plus. The 20 is not optimal from a pure damage perspective, but it's a triple plus, so the extra stability damage comes in handy and the extra crit damage isn't bad either. So we're already looking at like, what, 170 points of damage? Fantastic. But that is 35, um, 35 points of R um, LRMs gone every single time. So realistically, that's four shots, eight shots, 12 shots. And that's that. 12 shots. We could go and put more in it. But let's wait just for one second. So what else do we have? We got middle missile accuracy. Oh, I would like to get that in. Because it effectively means that you will... Two accuracy means plus 10% hit chance. And since missiles literally do um, a percentage um, of damage compared to their um, hit chance so let's say you have 90% hit chance then it will deliver 90% of the damage that it could deliver as a maximum this here will increase the damage quite a bit okay so what else do we have we do have a few support weapons could tendentially go with like what three light lasers and how would that work out second like how let's check the story if they do have an ex extra range light laser no other awesome weapons no it's just a normal system so don't expect too much what we could do is we could kind of uh, make it an lrm uh, boat and once that is depleted it's melee damage plus more lasers it's a pretty extreme build so you either go all in or or you go home essentially heat efficiency is fine so there are a couple of medium lasers that we could use let's just try to make it a bit less extreme so a bit medium laser focused okay fair enough heat efficiency now looks terrible i i totally get that and Let's use that ER range laser. Okay, so what that thing here is really saying is we got 25, 50, and 80 damage if, if we're just shooting our lasers normally. Don't worry too much about the heat efficiency because realistically we're not going to use our lasers plus the LRMs. And in terms of armor, will we be able to pull this one off? I 
Tiny pieces of armor here and there. Hmm. I really want to keep the TTS, but maybe we're taking a normal TTS with one ton. Okay. Would it make sense to get some more LRM shots? This is going to be our main attack. Hmm. Potentially, but LRM boats will automatically not be that great once, uh, once the mission drags on. I think once the LRMs are gone, we can go to small lasers. Although the heat efficiency here looks terrible, you're never going to like use all of that. So that'll be like what? Uh, 100 damage? Or alternatively, most of that costs tonnage. I mean, we could go and put in some of the arm mods, but they cost tonnage, so no, we're not going to do that. So, what's the idea of this build? We've used all of uh, the hard points that we do have for LRMs. That's fine. I can uh, definitely see that. And I, I think that was almost 200 damage. And the other 100 uh, damage came from the lasers. So, if push comes to shove, we will be in that in that uh, sweet spot between between um, using LRMs and maybe some lasers. So then it would run incredibly hot, but you can always fall back just with using the LRMs. What else can we use? We're fine. Thunderbolt is not necessarily known to be a great LRM boat, but I think you can still make it work. Uh, the guy has enough tonnage and unfortunately we didn't have enough cooling cap uh, cap uh, capabilities to uh, work with that guy elsewise cataphract this is an interesting one maximize the armor and did the guy lose his ecm apparently okay because one of the cataphract uh, or the side, I think it was the cataphract. Yeah, uh, one of the cataphracts had the built in ECM. Apparently, that is not the case with this guy here. What are we working with? We got one ballistic hard point and a lot of other stuff. So, I mean, what we could do is we could go for an AC20 sort of brawler and close up build or we're going for a sniper essentially dealing damage with our ppcs let's just try the sniper for a second wow we that, that'll be a lot of heat that we need to work with do we have the equipment to compensate for the heat? Potentially not, right? Yeah, the PPCs themselves produce so much heat. I think it needs to be a standard brawler and we're giving it a big fat AC-20. So that's like what five or ten shots five rounds yeah that's not enough got to get those ten rounds in and let's go for medium lasers one two three four five that's already it's already not looking good. And a small laser for good measure. Not sure if we can uh, if we can compensate that much heat. 
I like the brawler role. The problem is with all of those laser boats, you need really good heat management, so exchangers are key. What are we looking at? 80 heat. 80 over 40 is too much. We can maybe slot in two more heat sinks and reduce armor a bit. But that is still pushing it. And that's the disadvantage of not being able to use exchangers regularly because exchangers have a percentage uh, reduction on the ener uh, energy that it takes, uh, on the heat that it takes, and yeah. I like it, and that they do have gy gyros available here. Well, hmm. How to deal with these guys? I mean, large lasers aren't bad either. Triple large lasers are good, but are we... Large lasers plus, 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 that is, are good. But are we going to spend that... Are we going to make it the sniper, I guess, is what I'm asking. So that is 18 heat, and that is 36 heat. We're running into this exact same problem. So that's a hundred damage. If we put in two heavy lasers, okay, that would be a hundred damage. Which is as much as the AC-20 does. Um, let's just play that through and see if we can make that build work. An all-out uh, large laser build. Okay, so large laser here. And potentially another large laser over here. Okay, cool. Good. So add 20 to the damage. So we're looking at 170. That's what we get if we're focusing on large lasers plus 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 medium lasers 170 this guy here is producing too much heat the ppcs Large lasers just do not offer enough firepower for their tonnage. That's only 200 damage. Not gonna work out. So we're back to the original draft, which is get as much damage as you can with the AC-20. Okay, cool. And then use super efficient weapons i.e medium lasers and try to weasel your way through it hmm so leaving that more laser out 225 I think we could go with MG's and then do we have half ammo for the MG's in the store yes we should definitely be buying two of those Half ammo uh, saves a bit of uh, weight. Okay, so that's not bad. The machine guns are okay. Okay, see what I forgot was the ammunition of the AC-20. 
Never mind. We're a little bit too heavy now. When the heat efficiency kicks in, we're, we're starting to be too heavy. And that is because we're lacking crucial items that we actually would need. I think the MGs are an interesting addition. But unfortunately, with the ammunition on top, maybe a bit too much. Could use that in a later setup of the Mac. So that would bring us down to 200 damage. I do not like that. Cadifrac has the problem of not having enough damage loaded. Replacing the AC-10, uh, AC-20 for an AC-10. Like, what are we dealing with? That's 70 for 12, 100 for 14. Essentially losing 30 damage. Let me think that through. Okay, after a bit of configuration, I ended up with this build. The AC-20 um, is would be great if we had an improved AC-20, a UAC-20, for instance, or some sort of an AC-20++. As it stands, it is approximately as efficient as an AC-10++. Slightly more efficient, but also the ammunition bins are uh, just getting depleted easier. So I went with that AC-10++ and used the freed up room for some more lasers. We ended up in the same range of 230 damage, which is, given that we don't have the right option to make it a full-fledged laser boat, potentially the most that we can get out of the cataphract at this point. It is what it is. The heat sinks should be plenty in order to deal with the situation. We're looking at you can deduct 16 heat here we're looking at uh, 80, uh, 68 over uh, 48 so that's a good heat uh, ratio we're just at the sweet spot of uh, heat efficiency or heat differential of minus 20. that's okay um, it is an okay build but cataphract potentially one of uh, the max that we want to revisit i am pretty sure that that guy used to have an ecm but apparently it's no longer built in. 20 days until everything is done, which brings us to the star map and our next flashpoint. So what do we have? That's 16 days, couple of rare items, tonnage requirement light. Well, I think that might not be our type of tea. Uncommon mech upgrade. Mm -hmm. Okay. That could be interesting, but it's only a two skull one here. This one here works against the pirates, not a chance. This one works against the pirates, not a chance either. Still want to do more flashpoints. They are fun. So how about we're working through this here? That's a rare item. Uh huh. And that's an uncommon upgrade. <clears throat> So, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I know that one. So, I know that one. That's that's a tournament where we will need to fight against other gladiators. That one sucked because it is mainly based on the skills of the pilots and our pilots aren't that damn good. Two and a half schools might be more like it the light tonnage requirement not sure if we can meet it that's the problem what's the underlying system the underlying system is, is a three and a half star system that on the other hand we can very much uh, work with so let's travel over there and we got like battlefield that means a lot of loot for us Rich isn't bad either. That means also financially an interesting course. 
So let's fly over there. And see what we can do. I shall cut the travel for you guys. Hey boss, and we arrive. Plus, we got a couple of upgrades. Let's see. Ship upgrades are almost done. We certainly don't need a third mech bay. Trainings module would be something that uh, pays for itself. Beta pods, maybe. I'm not. Con I'm not fully convinced on just increasing our run costs by so much just for a little bit of morale. We already got almost maximum morale. And yes, there is an achievement for fully getting all of uh, that upgrade, but we already figured that we wouldn't play for maximum points, but rather uh, kind of have that pirate themed campaign here. Standing by. Bradford gets that indirect call shot bonus. Waiting for orders. Receiving you. Mox still needs a bit more before we can aye, raise aye. gunnery. Aye, yo. And Tigan finally. Second person with sensor lock. Mech warrior training complete. Good. That puts him in line with Reaper. Commander. Lily Commander? now needs an upgrade for multi-shot, so we gotta take her onto missions as well. And I think what we wanted to do is wait three more days until the cataphract is done, and then... Oh... That one is fantastic. So uh, that's definitely the next thing that we're going to do. New flashpoint right over here. Three and a half schools and the rare mech is a thumper. Oh boy, that mech is great. 38 days, get ready to go there. Of course, after that system. Good. In terms of finishing the work, one more day and now everything's ready and that brings us to the end of today's episode. We got a whole slate of heavy mechs that want to deploy. We got a flashpoint that is, I think, a tiny bit um, easier than we, uh, we, normally, uh, we normally would uh, deal with. Tonnage requirements. Let's just check something real quick, guys. So we can already begin the flashpoint. Okay, let's do it. The light requirement oftentimes is simply a tonnage maximum that we can drop. And I want to get that maximum so that we can check whether or not we would actually fulfill it. Also, it's nice to see which of the contracts are available. Hopefully a couple of pirate contracts. And I'm still waiting to get an invitation to the black market. That is a random event. Are you kidding me? Okay, not a single contract because all of those factions hate us. But maybe when the Capellian Confederation, when we're done with the Flashpoint, we should be good to go. So just for the sake of looking at it, we have a maximum of 240. 40 tons and each mech cannot be heavier than 75 yeah well that is oh my god that is definitely doable we can use some of our medium mechs and just go in with like 
that here could be a thing. Two Thunderbolts. Then a Centurion should probably not be there. Rather, two Griffins and the two Thunderbolts. Something along the lines of of uh, that. 240 tons. We're right at the edge of that. And we got two medium, two sort of heavy mechs. That's fine. Perfect. And all we need to do is capture base. Okay, guys, that's going to happen in the next episode. Get ready for some double, act uh, double agent action. And as always, smash the wonderful like button as well as leave a comment down below. Take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.